I, don't, I, I think it would be a little bit uncomfortable if I didn't ask you about your hat that you have on right there. Hey, and, man, you know what? Let me tell you something. Now, I heard cool. that you was a Cowboys fan, but never in a million years would I think you would come on just blasting the hat with the flames. Hey, man, you know, <laughs> go ahead and turn that around. It's custom, you know what I mean? Look oh, at that blue ball right man. there. It's custom. <laughs> All right, so what you think the Cowgirls, I mean, the Cowboys... Oh, are- man, you must be a New York Giant, I mean, a New York Midget fan. Uh, oh! <laughs> 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 yeah, nah. Yeah, we giants all day. Yeah, 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 like, seriously, do. like, what do you think? Like, you think them Cowboys is going to, you think y'all going to go all the way or what? I mean, we got a great chance, man. You know, the young boys really gave a a, a, a shot in the arm to us this year. I, I've been feeling like we've been needing that all year, you know, um, for a couple of years. Romo, I, I believe, is a good quarterback. But to be great, you got to win the big games. And I don't feel like he's ever became you know, anytime he's had those moments that really would turn him in to be great, he's always failed at those moments, you know, which makes the team fall, you know. Um, and, and that's what I believe that makes a great quarterback when you can come through those moments, you know, that that will propel your team into the history books. And he hasn't been able to do that yet. He's had a, he's had a great, you know, uh, stats. Mm-hmm. But stats is individual. You know what I mean? And, and stats can be individual for for a team. So his individual stats didn't really, it doesn't really matter if he can't propel a team to the next level. So, so how serious do the debates get? Because I know you're from New Jersey. I mean, you got to have a lot of uh, Oh, yeah, I got a lot of, because I got a lot of, you know what? Like, it, How it, serious it, do those debates get? Like, seriously? Serious. They get serious. <laughs> Reason because they get serious for me is one, because people know how New Jersey I am. Yeah. So Jersey, right? But the reason why I don't rock with the Giants is because, you know, when I was a, a, a little lad, nah. when the Giants first came to New Jersey, people don't know they play in New Jersey. A lot of them live in New Jersey. You know, so when they first came to New Jersey, on my screen used to say NY slash NJ Giants. When they first came to New Jersey, this is fact. You can look it up. I <laughs> they bring in the facts. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think it was sometime in, in uh, the 80s, early 80s, if I'm not uh, wrong. But about six games into the season, they made an announcement that they were dropping the NJ off of all of the press, off of the team's Monica, because they will be considered a New York team, even though they play in New Jersey. Now, I love New York City. I do a lot of business in New York City. I got a lot of great friends in New York City, but I live in New Jersey. So I felt disrespected. I felt like if they live in New Jersey, they play in New Jersey, why not call them the New Jersey Giants then? Right? And because I said, if we had a team, if the Knicks played in New Jersey first and they were called the, the New Jersey Knicks and then they started playing at the Garden, how many New York fans will still go out and support the New Jersey Knicks playing in New York City? You know what? I've never actually thought about it that way. My my argument. None of you would. Yeah, None I never would have thought of that. That's actually good. That's good. If the Nets if the Nets still had New Jersey and they played in Brooklyn, <laughs> no Brooklyn people would be talking about New Jersey Nets. They wouldn't. You know, even though they live in they live in Brooklyn, they play in Brooklyn, they would not be supporting the New Jersey Nets living and playing in Brooklyn. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna love their arch enemy. And which is the, the Dallas, Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys. Oh man, America's favorite team. That's right. Let's uh, go, Cowboys. Man. Until until the Giants, which I found out is never gonna happen. They have a lifetime lease on the name. Oh, really? Even if they move to Philly, they will be called the New York Giants. And I was told this by somebody from the governor's office who did the deal in the 80s. So even if they were to move to right by Philly, they will be called the New York Giants. That's for life. For life. Until they they, they have to move out of the tri-state area not to be called the New York Giants. Mm. Wow, you just dropped the gem on me. You also gave me something that I'm going to think about for sure. (laughs) Were so that's why I'm not a New York Giants fan, man. And so Jersey gets the, a team with a, with an NJ on the side of their helmets. I'll be rocking with the Dallas Cowboys. Oh man, <laughs> I'm so. That, Let's that, go, Dak. Those young boys, Dak, Dak and I know Ezekiel with the with the with the blouse jersey on. He's still running hard. So let's go.